Recently, there were some legislative changes enacted by the state regarding property claims. What do these changes mean for us? Shire Patel, Giovanni Fialo from the law offices of Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys are back with us to shed light on this. I know it has been a hot topic for attorneys in the state of Florida, but I'm glad you both are breaking it down for us. How are you? We're doing well. Doing well. Thanks for having us. So property changes. What do we yeah. need to know? Yeah, I mean, listen, it's a hot topic right now, especially with attorneys and, and obviously our residents. So uh, there has been some recent legislation uh, changes. Um, attorney's fees and the caps on attorney's fees are one of them. Um, prior to this change, insurance companies, if you made a claim, would be responsible for those attorney's fees. That is no longer the case. You may be coming out of pocket now, okay? There have some been changes to what you can claim and some caps on, on those damages, which I'll let Giovanni kind of get into. Yeah, again, you know, talking about the caps on damages, what you thought you might have had as far as what an insurance company would pay out previously, that's, yeah. that's done. You know, you've got caps on damages, your policy is different. That's why it's always important to review your policy. Look at the changes that's been made, look at your policy, and see what doesn't add up. If you can't figure it out, give us a call, and we'll walk you through it. And of course, we're talking about homeowners, but you were saying there was also changes to your property as far as vehicles are concerned. What's that one all about? Correct, so there's been some changes as to, uh, to personal injury in general with the tort reform and your, your auto. The, the big change is statute of limitations now have changed from uh, four years to two years to, to make a claim or, or file a lawsuit in the matter. Um, and even just damages in general, you know, when you come to, to injury claims, it's about getting the medical care you need to get better, right? Just focus on that first and foremost. Don't worry about, you know, how is this going to affect me or who's going to pay for this? Mm -hmm. Contact us and we'll, we'll guide you through that. And again, you guys have been very open, even, you know, off camera with me saying, yeah, you do get a lot of calls from clients that don't necessarily understand their insurance policies or, or maybe have been injured in an accident and they don't know about the statute of limitations. I mean, it's better to pick up the phone and, and just get answers, right? No, absolutely. Listen, when in doubt, ask a question, right? Yeah. Uh, we pride ourselves on taking our phone calls and speaking with whether it's our client or a potential client and walking them through the process. You know, any question you have, we're going to answer it for you. And whether we take the case on or we don't, we want to make sure that you leave that conversation with enough knowledge to be able to make your own decisions. And, and again, just kind of being prepared and having the conversations with an attorney even before a hurricane or, or worse, an accident, you know, could possibly strike, right? Getting the information earlier, better than later, I think is something you're both saying too. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. Be prepared. Yep. Right. I like Especially it. in Florida. Always be prepared. Uh, you know what? I, I definitely <laughs> understand that one. Whether you're talking about hurricanes on the road while well, the list goes on and on in the state of Florida. Let's go ahead and share the contact information for the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine, accident attorneys. There's the phone number and website. Again, guys, thanks for being here. Thank you. Thank you for having me.